Hi, this is David Israelson with Bedrock Realty, and I'm here with my daughter, Ella Israelson. Hi. And we are going to tell you about the best schools in Austin, Texas. So when you're looking in Austin, Texas for a school to choose, um, it can depend on the elementary, the middle, or the high school. What, what are you in? Are you in elementary? Yeah. Okay, what grade? Third. Third, okay. So for Ella, she goes to Brentwood, which is in central Austin, and that is rated a seven in greatschools.org. And what we're going to focus on for this video, are we going to focus, we're going to focus on areas where all of the schools, both element, all three, elementary, middle, and high school are rated seven or above. The first area that we're going to talk about is the Eanes Independent School District. This is mostly encompassed by Westlake, which is actually a separate city from Austin, but it's kind of surrounded by the Austin area. Um, Westlake is um, a very upscale neighborhood, and you've got uh, pretty high-end houses. Almost every one of them start at a million dollars and then go up from there. But when we talk about schools, we're looking at both all three, elementary, middle, and high school, all nine or above as far as great schools rated. Westlake High School is considered one of the best high schools in the country. The second area in the Austin area that's great for schools is 78739, which is an area that is encompassed by a neighborhood called Circle C. Within Circle C and the surrounding areas, you've got elementary, middle, and high school that are all eight or above, according to greatschools.org. So you've got uh, Clayton Elementary School, which is a nine out of 10. You've got Gzorski, which is an eight out of 10. And you've got Bowie High School, which is also an eight out of 10. These are excellent schools and it's a pretty cute neighborhood as well. So you've got um, some great Greenbelt trails there. There's a, um, if you're into biking, there's some excellent biking trails there as well. There's a place called the Velo Way, which is this really, really cool track where you can ride your bikes around in the Circle C area. But it is a master plan community in South Austin. Take a look at the map. The Circle C area, which is in South Austin, as you can see here, is uh, comprised of homes that range from around $550,000 and up. The houses were built in the 80s, 90s, and 2000s. They're generally kept up pretty nicely by their owners, and there's many really great upgraded homes in that area as well that run north of a million dollars. One of my best friends, who is a firefighter here in Austin, lives in Circle C. He has always talked about how his kids can run up and down the street with all the other kids and they can not watch them, which sounds pretty awesome. Um, the, he also has talked about how he would go in the middle of the cul-de-sac with all the other dads after work and, and drink beers, uh, which also sounds pretty cool. Here in central Austin, the community's not as tight um, and you know we're interspersed with um, you know different types of homes um and and there's not as many kids and so you know there's also a lot of traffic and so you know i can't really let my kids run outside in the front yard without being run over by uh lots of cars the third area of town uh is the westwood high school area which is in northwest austin it's about 15 minutes from downtown take a look at the map this is uh zoned to westwood high school which is an eight out of ten it's actually zoned to Round Rock Independent School District. So this is not city of Austin. Within this area, you have an excellent middle school, a nine out of 10 middle school, which is Canyon Vista. And then zoned to Canyon Vista and Westwood, you have a few different pockets where the elementary schools are either eight or nine out of 10. Excellent school district, excellent area. Um, and also a really cute community. The houses there range from around $600,000 and up. Um, these are a, uh, this is a mature area of Austin with mature trees and uh, beautiful streets. 
The houses were built in the 80s, 90s, and 2000s. Um, and you will find nice family homes, great communities, cul-de-sacs, and uh, generally pretty good neighbors in that area. The cool thing about the city of Austin and the surrounding areas is that we actually have an incredible amount of really good schools. They're pretty highly rated generally. And I have a lot of people that are moving here from out of state, um, investors or um, families that are just, uh, that where they're from, their schools are just terrible. And they send their kids to private school. And, you know, it's kind of a calculation that you should take into account if you are coming from out of state with terrible, terrible schools so that you don't have to spend twenty to $40,000 a year on your child's private school education. And you can take that money and kind of factor that in to your cost of living. Either you can save it or you can spend it on more house within and around the city of Austin. So it's more economical sometimes. When we look in central Austin, you're going to see schools that are much older and much more established, and they've got generally lower ratings than the schools in the suburbs of Austin. They're still pretty excellent schools, though. And so you should dive into why those schools got their ratings and which areas of town are going to be suitable for you and your family. So for example, right, there is a little neighborhood where I have a listing right now called Breaker Woods. It's in central Austin. It's about seven minutes from downtown. It's a really gorgeous area. And that area has a very, very small elementary school called Breaker Woods Elementary. There is a, a, a realtor that I know that uh, whose, whose kid goes to Breaker Woods Elementary. And he was like, Dave, that school is like a private school. It is amazing. All the teachers are um, not stressed out. The school uh, keeps the class sizes low. And it just feels like they really care about my kids, right? You don't see that a lot. And you don't actually see it in the ratings for that school. But when you talk to other parents, you'll find that, hey, these are great schools. And so I would implore you to look around at the different schools all around town, depending on where uh, you're looking in, in Austin, and talk to other parents, talk to the community, understand why, why the school is great, understand why this school might be kind of crappy. So get out there, talk to people. So I hope that was helpful. I hope that um, I have given you a good overview of the three areas of town in the Austin area that are the best schools that you can get. Um, I would love to be of service. Again, I am a real estate broker here in Austin and we serve the entire Austin area. My phone number and email are at the bottom of the screen right here. Please reach out if you have any questions. We'd love to be able to earn your business. Um, we'd love to be able to help you find the perfect house in the Austin area for you, your family, your loved ones, whomever. All right. Catch us on the next video. Again, thank you for watching. This is David Israelson with Bedrock Realty. Bye-bye.